It's a great pleasure to welcome China Mobile International to the Cloud 2021 conference and a great pleasure to welcome Rishal Sitahal, who is the Enterprise Sales Manager at China Mobile International. Good afternoon. How are you doing, sir? I'm great, Aki. Thanks so much. How are you doing? Yeah, we're doing good. Thank you. I mean, it's been an interesting time. Uh, I've been watching the journey that China Mobile has been going on, um, especially on the continent and uh, your cloud. And it's been absolutely fascinating. And I'm sure the last 18 months has been pretty crazy. So please do give me an overview of uh, China Mobile International and your presence in South Africa and just more broadly across the EMEA region, because you really are expanding quite rapidly. Yeah, so China Mobile International is born from the mother company of China Mobile uh, Communication Corporation, which uh, we know as CMCC. Uh, you know, China Mobile International is the international arm of CMCC. Uh, we currently have a global footprint of 37 offices across the globe, um, and we're still expanding. Uh, we have four uh, of our own self-built data centers across the globe as well, in Hong Kong, Singapore, Frankfurt, uh, in Germany, and London in the UK. We also partner with 160 other data center providers across the globe. Um, so we've got quite a huge presence when it comes to the data center environment. And in the MIA region, um, our offices are in Dubai, Kenya, and South Africa. Um, in South Africa, we currently operate two business uh, units. One is the carrier business unit, uh, where we provide our global connectivity via the submarine cables, you know, also uh, voice data, SMS, IPT services. Mm. Uh, the other business unit is our enterprise business unit, uh, where we provide cloud services, IoT, and many other ICT services uh, that we offer to the South African market and the uh, MIA market as well. That's so that's just the overview. Yep. I mean, that's a broad range of stuff you guys are doing. And I mean, those data centers are interesting. And I imagine that there, there, there's uh, further expansion plans as the market is really heating up at the moment and it's all moving towards the cloud. So what, what, what is China Mobile's international cloud strategy uh, in South Africa? Where, where are you guys going with it? So, Aki, with regards to our cloud strategy, uh, we have global agreements with the major cloud uh, hyperscaler providers, you know, like AWS, Huawei Cloud, uh, Google Cloud, Alibaba, Tencent, and so on. Uh, you know, there's many other of the hyperscalers that we partner with. Um, we offer a platform called mCloud, where we incorporate all these different cloud providers into the single platform, uh, you know, a single inf interface. Uh, we have taken it a step further where we build connectivity directly into uh, these cloud provider data centers across the globe. Um, mm. And, you know, by doing that, we offer customers a proper multi-cloud connectivity play where now you can connect, uh, for an example, an AWS in South Africa to a Huawei cloud in Hong Kong using our cloud connectivity. And this connectivity is provided from our M Cloud platform, uh, which gives you the ability to provision the service on the fly. And even before you provision these services, uh, you can go in through the portal, you can build up a link and see what is the stats on that link with regards to the performance on the latency and you know packet loss and all of those fancy technical terms uh, that the guys use. Um, so yeah, so 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 that's with regards to the offering that we have. Um, you know, uh, the other thing is if a business is using these different cloud providers, they're receiving many different builds from each provider. Uh, with this platform, we offer you the ability to receive a single bill uh, as well. So, you know, we also offer many other promotions uh, to provide businesses with much more cheaper pricing. And we could potentially be cheaper than what, we'd, what you would pay directly uh, with these cloud providers. Uh, you know, even if you have existing cloud services with these providers, we can now migrate your bill to China Mobile and will offer you a reduction in the cost that you have been paying. Uh, you know, we do this 
uh, even without changing your infrastructure, we don't get involved with your infrastructure. Uh, we don't have access to your infrastructure. The only thing we do is merely an account change on the back end. Um, so, so those are those are some of the things that we're doing uh, in South Africa and across our MIA markets with regards to our cloud play that we currently offer. Very interesting. Offering a lot of flexibility is what I'm hearing from you there as well. I mean, it's been a very interesting 18 months since the pandemic uh, hit the global markets. What are some of the market trends and challenges that have come across from companies in South Africa and, uh, and around cloud services in particular? What are you seeing? Yeah, so, you know, since uh, the pandemic has hit us, uh, we've seen uh, a rapid transformation with the adoption of cloud. Uh, but then again, you know, as we all know, there's always a lack of infrastructure uh, is one of the challenges that we face. Uh, therefore, we are to connect Africa to the rest of the globe. Uh, you know, we also come across businesses that, uh, that you know, don't really understand the cloud environment. Uh, you know, there's instances where we get businesses that approach us and say, uh, this is my cost of my infrastructure that I currently have physical hosting on site. Can you give me a comparative cost uh, using the cloud? But with regards to the cloud, it doesn't really work like that. You know, mm -hmm. in instances where you could be using a terabyte of a storage, for example, uh, on your physical infrastructure. You know, you've got a terabyte, but you're not utilizing the entire terabyte. You're probably only using half of it, which is 500 gigs. Uh, therefore, you know, you need to understand that if you're moving to the cloud, you don't need to purchase a terabyte. All you need is the 500 gigs. And, you know, those are some of the things uh, that you can do on the cloud to optimize not only your cost, but also your usage and the environment that you have. Um, so, you know, uh, the other thing is uh, some businesses don't know where to start when it comes to cloud adoption. Uh, some of them are, are also afraid to lay out the capital uh, to test these cloud services, uh, you know, and these are some of the areas that we've seen the challenges uh, in, in, the, in the South African markets. Yeah, no, listen, there's no doubt about it. That last statement you've just made, I mean, you know, where do you start? That's always like the big hurdle. And, you know, you often hear people going in too hard and make mistakes and start losing money, etc. So it's important to know that journey very, very clearly. So how can China Mobile International assist companies with the challenges that you've just mentioned, get them on the cloud roadmap and really um, help them not only reduce costs, but, you know, stop making those mistakes on their journey to the cloud? Yeah, so, okay, we've been helping uh, these customers with these challenges uh, with regards to, you know, the solution architect teams that we have. We handhold the customers with the cloud journey, especially the new customers that are adopting the cloud for the first time. So, you know, they don't have the expertise up front when they're starting up with this journey. And that's where we come into play, where we hold their hands, we help them create the accounts, uh, we do the high level infrastructure. Uh, we even go to the extent of uh, configuring the basic uh, setup for the uh, cloud environment as well. So these are some of the things that we've been helping the customers with. Uh, also, you know, at China Mobile, if if these customers register, you know, a, an account with us, we offer them free credits into their account where they can test the environment without having to lay out capital uh, up front. So, you know, those are some of the things that we've been implementing and helping customers in South Africa to adopt and move on to the cloud journey. Uh, you know, the customers that uh, that have these concerns uh, can now reach out to us and we are here to assist them. So those are some of the things that we do. Um, and, you know, if there's any other specific requests, we're happy, we're open to look at it and help these customers out. Well, it's great that you've got the system architects as a backup to assist in that journey, because I think it's really critically important. I mean, the, the support side is very, very important in the world that we're living in today. Apart from the uh, cloud offering, uh, what are some of the other solutions that uh, China Mobile International has to offer to their specific customers? So um, on our offerings, on our 
on our carrier side, you know, we've got the um, we've got the capacity on the submarine cables. So if customers are looking for, you know, voice uh, voice links, or they're looking for data links, or uh, SMSs, even uh, internet links across the globe, we've got that available. Uh, currently, so we can offer that. Um, on the enterprise side, the other thing apart from the cloud is the IoT. We've seen a big uptick on the IoT market in South Africa. Um, we've been empowering some of the local partners that play in the IoT space uh, with some of the technology and devices. You know, uh, China is about five to ten years ahead of where we are. So uh, we've got we've got a company called China Mobile IoT Company and the solutions that implemented there uh, that are tried and tested uh, and we try and bring it in for certain requirements uh, from our customers and partners. So IoT is a big play for us as well. And then we also play in the ICT space uh, where we offer uh, technology. So advanced technology when it comes to CCTV, AI and all of those things. Uh, so, th so those are some of the things that, uh, that we're offering. And then uh, the other thing is the cybersecurity, something uh, mm. that we, we are also offering as well. So talk to me about some of the exciting developments that we can expect from China Mobile International in the not too distant future. I know you guys are making massive strides and every time... I chat to uh, one of the representatives today. I'm chatting to you. Uh, you guys are pretty busy with lots of expansion, adding different services. What what can we expect? Yeah, so Aki, uh, you know, we've got we've established our uh, Johannesburg office and our KZ office. Uh, within the next month, we launch our Cape Town office. Uh, so we're quite excited about that. Uh, we'll be launching the Cape Town office. Uh, we've got an introduction of a new cybersecurity provider into the African market. Uh, so that's also very exciting for us uh, to bring in a new challenger into the market as well. And then lastly, um, I'm sure many of you have seen the, uh, we are part of the consortium for the two Africa cable uh, that we'll be bringing in yes. to Africa as well. So those are some of the exciting stuff that's going to be happening uh, quite soon. And, um, you know, we look forward to engaging with these uh, customers and businesses across uh, the Africa market as well. Absolutely awesome. China Mobile International, thank you for joining us at the My Broadband Cloud Conference 2021. Rishal Sitahal is the Enterprise Sales Manager at China Mobile International. Thank you for your time and thank you for joining us at this year's conference. Thank you very much, Aki. Thank you for having me on the conference.